Hi all, new Insta session today. Been a while since I made a vid, so I'm taking advantage of it. I hope you are doing well, and to tell you the little story, a while ago I came across an advertisement on Instagram that was specifically targeting me with information about a GPS tracker, which was a product made in China and priced at just a few euros. Let's say maybe around 7 euros, or in that price range. And here it is, so I bought the thing to see, so I'm going to show you. It arrived in a nice little box, so for those who are joining us, it's a GPS tracker, and so when you open it, you have this inside with GPS written on it, that's it. And so the purpose of this video is just to talk to you about it and do a little test and show you how it works. So I'm going to switch back to the front camera, and then I'm going to, to be able to show you a little bit of all this. Here, so this GPS tracker. It is produced in China. It has an estimated cost, as I mentioned, between 5 and 7, 10 euros. The price depends on the location of purchase. And it opens like this. And then inside we put a SIM card. So I put a SIM card. We can put an SD card in it, which allows to store, actually. You will see the sounds. And that is it. And then it reloads with the, the compact USB port. Wait, I will close it. Here, it charges utilizing the micro USB port for connectivity and power. So, nothing too complex, it is completely magnetized. So here, it is completely magnetized. That means, if you want to put it on a metal surface, it will stick without any problem. I tested it on my fridge, it works. And then, what does this little GPS do? Well, listen, it is quite funny because... So, here is the notice. Here, this is the notice. So if you don't speak Chinese, that's fine, just turn it over. There is an English version, but it's English, let's say, translated by Google, or an equivalent. So it is not necessarily, it is approximately, a bit approximate in nature. But I still managed to decipher a little bit of the thing. And so I'm going to show you how it works. So basically, this GPS tracker does two things. It provides GPS coordinates and also captures audio, making it a simple and reliable tool for recording location and sound. So there, I'm going to put my... I'm going to put... Wait, give me a couple of small seconds. Configuration problem. Before proceeding... To become annoyed. I am going to furnish a little bit. So yes, this GPS tracker, its main advantage is that it is not expensive at all. But does he perform well? That will be the answer of the day. You may have seen it, so for those who joined the video in progress, I saw an ad on Instagram about this GPS tracker, so I decided to test it. And then, since it is a little disappointing in some aspects, I wanted to discuss it with you. So, when considering everything, how does it work in its entirety and as a whole? It's simple. Once the SIM card is inside, once you have inserted your SD card, it is not an SD card that is provided, it is an SD card that you must add. You require a telephone in order to send him a text message. That is the only thing you need. You will observe, it is rather amusing. So, I'll position the GPS tracker here, we'll film my phone, and if you want to connect your phone number with your GPS, you have to enter 00, send it to him. So there, the problem is, there I won't do it because it'll send you my phone number. Even if most of you know it, you'll come across it. There is still a method available to initiate the recording of sound. So for example, I do 55. I was already wrong, 55. At this moment, I am sending this message to you. I will achieve success. We will wait for a short while. However, typically, this small box should capture and store all of the words that I am currently speaking. So, he replies by stating that the audio recording is currently in progress. So clearly, by recording the sound in this way, it is saved on the SD card. So then, if you retrieve this little box, you take out the SD card and put it on your computer, you will see files and you will be able to listen to the sounds. But that's not what's super fun. What's funny is also everything that is... If I call just the number, it will make a call to the GPS, the GPS unit, in order to obtain location information. And then, exercise caution, as I am about to grasp the concept with full understanding. I am uncertain if you can hear.
Therefore, it is crucial for you to understand that when I make a call, I speak in an approximate manner, but when you dial this number, it will record the conversation that takes place between us. There you go. It records directly from this box. So, at any time, I can listen to what's happening around the box by calling the magic number. SIM card number. Already a potent spying tool, so not recommended for illegal purposes, to spy on individuals. Usage for criminal activities is strongly discouraged. It is not good, you should not do it. Another humorous thing is that if I transmit the number that is intended for, you illustrate and explain how it functions in action. 666, thus indicating the number of the beast. I hope you can hear me clearly. We will wait for a short while. At that location, he initiates voice monitoring. Therefore, what is the significance of that? It means that it listens constantly. And if I exceed 40 decibels while speaking, which is the case now, there is a chance that the little box will call me. By the way, that's the case. That is to say, as I am speaking it exceeds 40 decibels and it automatically calls me. So if a sound is detected above 40 decibels, the box calls me. So there, I picked up the phone and I can hear my own voice. So it is rather scary, I must say. The experience is quite unsettling. But here... For example, if you put that, I don't know, in your office and then during your absence, someone enters your office and starts talking, you are automatically called. Obviously, if there is a big boom or things like that, it will also call you. So, it is rather strange. What is also interesting now is that there is something peculiar happening in that particular location. Question, what's happening? GPS terms? Deceptive. Written as seen in big letters GPS on it, but in reality not true. It doesn't look like GPS. So I will cut the... He won't quit calling. Because as I continue speaking, it continues to call me incessantly without pause. We will reset the configurations to their default values. I send 4-4 to the kid. GPS case. Typically, he will reset the thing back to its original state. What I was saying is that, unfortunately, it's a made-in-China thing, and there is no GPS chip inside. It's totally misleading. However, it still performs GPRS localization, which implies that it is an approximate form of localization, carried out based on the relay antenna to which your SIM card is connected, in fact, providing an estimation of the device's location. There, he attempted to give me a return call. I am unaware of the reason. Therefore, if I desire to inquire about his location, I initiate a brief communication. 77 sending this. And then normally, he'll phone, that is. He'll give me a call. I'm going to answer the phone when he calls. Hurry up, let's go, hurry. It's a bit long, but hey, that's the time it takes to react. So. Did it work? Well, there is no requirement to call, actually. Okay, very well. That is absolutely perfect. Yes, I thought it would call, but ultimately, no, not at all. And so there, it sends me a URL. The URL is located on a completely obscure and disgusting Chinese website, along with coordinates and more. When I click on it, I fall down and land on the ground. An unvalidated Google map displays an unattractive place near my house, supposedly indicating the position of the antenna. However, I reside in Cournon, and the antenna is actually situated between Le Cendre, Orsay, and La Roche Blanche, which is quite a considerable distance from my current location in the end. So this is not an accurate GPS position or coordinates. Who is right? If the antenna is next to where the box is, it will be pretty good. However, it is completely false. It does not send precise coordinates like that, as you mentioned. Can the GPS do it? On that note, it's a disappointment. So the Chinese individuals who sell us this merchandise, as a GPS tracker, it is evidently a joke. It functions primarily as a tool for covert listening, which I strongly advise against due to its complete illegality and the fact that it is both illegal and morally wrong. However, on the other hand, it is not a GPS tracker at all, so it cannot be placed, let's say, in a child's backpack or on a car in order to be able to locate it precisely and accurately determine its location.
All you will have is simply the position of the antenna that is utilized to relay messages to this small box, without any additional information or functionality. There, I am finished with this test. If you have any inquiries, please feel free to ask them. Regarding autonomy, I was questioned about its level of autonomy. It is not of great value. I am unaware of the precise autonomy. In the documentation, the level of autonomy for the system is clearly described and explained. It's not written here. Battery, battery, battery. Standby. 12 days. Here, 12 days on standby. And 4 to 6 days. At the end of 6 days in the functioning process. I failed to charge it adequately before testing, thus unable to provide a proper evaluation. I believe we have discussed all the necessary points. In general, it is not like that. If you are considering purchasing this as a GPS tracker to place in your car as a precaution in case it is stolen, allowing you to locate it, it is a complete failure. However, if you desire to listen to events in your absence, please be aware that such actions are unlawful and should not be pursued. Nevertheless, this compact device is solely capable of fulfilling that specific function. I hope you had a good time with this small test. It was fairly simple to implement, nothing too complex, but regrettably, it will not be very useful or valuable to me. On that note, I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a great weekend and amazing Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. Anything else? Anything else? Nothing remarkable. I was glad to create this small vertical video to irritate the YouTube users. And then, I'll see you soon. Let's go, goodbye.